Hello everybody, it is Alan, it is Brony Time, and welcome back to Let's Play Apollo Justice Ace Attorney Trilogy, where we are playing through Dual Destinies. Now, I'm super excited for this episode, um, because we are about to complete in this part, most definitely, case number three. So I'm excited. So we started off at our revisualization of the case. Oh dear, okay. I was like, uh-oh, but no, we're good. All right, let's get back. With the intent of killing Orla, Rhymes drained the show stage pool. But Rhymes failed to kill Orla, and instead he tried to pin Shipley's murder on Orla. In order to manipulate Orla, Rhymes must have used a cell phone and a walkie-talkie. But the walkie-talkie Rhymes has is broken. I think it's the victim's walkie-talkie, the one he kept as a memento of Azura Summers. I have to find a way to prove that it is indeed the victim's walkie-talkie. Which piece of evidence left on the walkie-talkie could prove it belongs to the victim? It's the Orthos tooth Orcus tooth marks here. We have two pieces of evidence with tooth marks. The walkie-talkie and the dummy. What's striking about these two pieces of evidence? The tooth marks are different. When I look closely, I see two different bite mark patterns. Hmm, two variations, huh? Wasn't there a trick of Orla's that had two different variations? The show song. A year ago, the Orca's song and teeth marks were different from what they are now. What could be the cause of the two inconsistencies? What's behind the fact that the Orca's tooth marks and the song were different a year ago? Was it a different Orca? Was it never Orla at all? Did, did Krabs release free the other Orca and got a new Orca? And that's why they were so adamant in defending Orla, because they knew for a fact that it was different. That it wasn't the same Orca. That Orla didn't do anything. And if the Orca a year ago wasn't Orla... Means the bite mark on the walkie-talkie isn't Orla's, like Shrimes said it was. Now I can finally prove the walkie-talkie belongs to the victim. Mr. Wright, you appear to be lost in thought there. Is everything alright? I, I just realized something astonishing, Your Honor. Your face is much astonishing, right, Dono? Your rudeness is what's astonishing, Prosecutor Blackwell. And what is the astonishing thing you've realized? Till just now, I thought the orca at Chick Shape Aquarium a year ago and Orla were the same orca. However, two inconsistencies led me to a new fact. And that fact is that there might be two Aura Shipleys. What? Two different orcas? But. But that's impossible! Order! Order in the court! Explain yourself! What is the basis for this preposterous claim? The Orca show song a year ago and the one now are different. I believe it's because the Orca a year ago was a different Orca. Two different Orcas, two different songs. It explains the show song contradiction. Well, what this bilge water talk? I don't understand. I'm talking about the truth. Truth that will finally catch you out with your lies. You claim that the tooth marks on the walkie-talkie were Orla's, but that's not true. The two different bite mark patterns on the walkie-talkie and the dummy proves this. Yes, because one... Oh, I see. One has... There's a missing tooth. What? Two different patterns, say? Silence. Say? Well, I will concede there is a possibility that two different orcas exist. Bite mark patterns alone are not proof enough. I want more conclusive evidence. Alright, I will show you conclusive evidence then. 
So he wants to see evidence other than the bite mark pattern, does he? The orc a year ago and Orla have different songs and different teeth. Don't I have two videos on hand that can be used to compare these differences? I will now submit two videos in which the different songs and teeth can be compared. Well, it's the videos on the TV phone. Take that! And here is the other. And the swashbuckler video put together should prove Take us what that. we want to know. Please compare these two videos, one from a year ago and one recent. As discussed, the two orcas are singing two different songs. Please also pay special attention to the appearance of the two orcas' teeth. How exactly do you claim their teeth are different? Let's look for shots in the two videos where the orca teeth are shown. This is, in the, this is Orla in the recent video of the Swashbuckler Spectacular Pirate Show. As you can see, she has all of her teeth. What a healthy smile she has. What a healthy smile she has. I'm a bit envious. Next, let's take a look at the TV phone video from a year ago. Just as I thought. Their teeth are different. Oh, I believe the smile looks a little different from the one we saw a moment ago. As you can see, the orca from a year ago has one tooth that's broken off. If the teeth are different, then... Yes, if the teeth are different, they are, of course, leave different bite mark patterns. On the practice dummy, you can see Orla's uniform pattern with all teeth intact. And on the walkie-talkie, you can see that one tooth is missing from the pattern. Ah, I see it. Just like the smile of the orca in last year's video. The tooth marks on the walkie-talkie were not made by the orca we know as Orla. They were made a year ago by a different orca. T Two different orcas? I, I can't believe it! The statement that the tooth marks on the walkie-talkie were from Orla was a lie. The truth is, this walkie-talkie was stolen from the victim, Jack Shipley. And the only person who could have stolen it is... The true carplet... Cul culprit? The true culprit, God gang, the true culprit, Marlon Rhymes. No, he got it all wrong. It'd be all the fault of that orc. Whoa, huh? Ah! He got it all wrong! Blimey! It be the orca's fault! This can't be- ah! That was a sweet ass breakdown. Once again. Too weak to help anybody. Well, it would appear we should hear more from the defendant about Or Shipley. Sasha Buckler. Yes, Captain Judge. Is what Mr. Wright claimed true? Are there two different orcas? I... I, uh... The secret that Shipshape Aquarium was hiding was about Orla, wasn't it? Dr. Crab told me to focus on the orca's song. He hinted it would be a clue. Phoenix is right. The one we call Orla is the second Orla Shipley. There actually used to be two orcas at Shipshape Aquarium. I used to call the first Aura Shipley just Aura for short. Aura and Orla are sisters. The captain rescued them both when they got beached on the shore. But Orla was in bad shape, and the ship's doctor had to look after her for a long time. Both orcas loved the captain, so he decided to keep them on at Shipshape Aquarium. 
Why didn't you say anything about there being two orcs? Well, because after the accident a year ago, Aura was put down. What? Aura is dead? Yeah, the Center for Dangerous Animal Control demanded it. Apparently the captain and the ship's doctor begged them. We put the first one down, so please leave the second one alone, they said. Anyway, after the accident a year ago, the captain told us he was going to put Orla in the pirate show as Aura Shipley. He asked us to keep quiet about Aura's death until the time was right. Hmm. It's a surprising and complex tale. Did all ship shape aquarium employees know about this? No, just a select few of us. Mr. Rhymes, did you know about it? Of course not. How would I? Tell me, Mr. Rhymes, did you plan on killing Orla from the start? Yeah. I planned to do it during the cleaning, so I drained the pool. I figured if I didn't do something about that beast, Sasha's life was in danger. Sasha trusted that orca, just as much as Azura did. I wanted to protect her! I couldn't help Azura, so I felt like protecting Sasha was the least I could do. My duty. I built up my strength, so I'd be ready to kill the orca. I even fought with sharks. But the captain realized my plan. Tried to save the orc. And that is why you killed Jack Shipley? Ah. Now the report from the crime lab finally makes sense. Report from the crime lab. In court yesterday, you will recall I showed a photo of the victim lying on his back. According to the lab, the bruise on the victim's right wrist was Rhyme's handprint. His... Handprint? I didn't know how it fit in with the case until I heard Rhyme's story just now. So now we can imagine the reason for it being there. Rhyme's must have made the handprint when he fought with the victim over the orc. A handprint made during a struggle. I don't care what happens to me anymore. I deserve the death penalty. I'm the one that killed the cat. Please give Sasha her not guilty verdict. Heh. <laughs> you accept your defeat well, I see. Let me be your guide. To hell. Get on with the verdict, your baldness. Hmm. It seems this unprecedented trial that began with an orc as the defendant has finally come to a close. Sasha saved! Orla's going to be so happy! Sasha's not guilty verdict is coming? Why do I still have this strange nagging feeling? Rhyme's handprint on the victim's right wrist. Was it really the result of a deadly struggle over the orca? I can't shake the feeling. That handprint has some other hidden meaning. Is this trial going to end without revealing the whole truth? Very well, this court fights and finished Sasha Buckler. Your Honor, please hold off on that verdict. Mr. Wright, what is the meaning of this? I would like to further explore this new evidence the prosecution just submitted. But what complaint could you have? Are you... You are about to get your not guilty verdict. I see no need to further prolong this trial, Mr. Wright. Your Honor, we still don't know the entire truth of this case. This unnatural handprint Mr. Rhymes left on the victim's right wrist. I don't think it was the result of a fight between the two men. Not the result of a fight. Then what do you suggest it was? Boss, what are you doing? Do you remember that evidence we found at the show stage? Evidence? What evidence? That mysterious mark might be the key to understanding the whole case. Your Honor, the defense would like to submit evidence that will expose the truth of this case. A mysterious piece of evidence that pairs with Rhyme's Mr. Un Mr. Rhyme's unnatural handprint. Interesting. I thought there was going to be a thing that sealed his fate, but it wasn't. Take that! 
Bala rhymes up behind a very unusual set of handprints at the show stage. In what way were they unusual? They were right handprints on the left side of the ladder. If one were to grasp the ladder in the same way as the prints, it would look like this. Hmm, it looks like the ladder is being grasped from above. Exactly, Your Honor. And the handprint on the victim's right wrist shows it was held with a powerful grip. Marlon Rhines grasped the show stage ladder in a natural pose. If he was gripping the victim's wrist in this position, gripping the victim's... Gripping the victim's wrist? Th then he must have been... It means Mr. Rhymes was actually... That's right. If we couple the unnatural handprint with the mysterious fingerprints... We see that Marlon Rhymes was trying to save the victim's life. What? But that can't be. It's impossible. Why don't we ask Mr. Rhymes himself? Yeah, uh... Mr. Rhymes, we want to hear the truth directly from you. <laughs> I gotta hand it to you, Mr. Lloyd. You got skills. Why? Why did you have to figure it out? It doesn't matter what happens to me anymore. I'm ready to die. So is what the defense is claiming true? The captain found out I had drained the show stage pool. He rushed to the side of the pool, ready to put some water in for the orca. And then he slipped. Captain, give me a left hand. No, Marlin, you'll fall too. Forgive me, Marvin. I didn't realize what deep pain you were in. You pain you are in. But please, please don't blame Orla. It's nobody's fault. Not Orla's, and not yours. Hey! I'm not really good at screaming out, sorry you guys. So, Jack Shipley's death was accidental. Why didn't you tell us that you didn't kill the victim? Because I have no right to live anymore. I'm ready to get the death penalty. The captain died because of me. And then on top of all, he used his body to frame all of them. I was gonna kill Orla. She wasn't even to blame. She didn't do anything wrong. The only thing I can do now is pay for it all with my life. I can't do anything. I couldn't save the captain. I couldn't avenge Azura's death. Mr. Rhymes, you have the wrong idea about Miss Summer's death. Not even the first Aura Shipley was responsible for her dying. Aura, of her own accord, was trying to save Summer's life. What? What are you talking about? Azura Summer suffered from a heart condition. But she didn't tell anyone, and she performed in the pirate show anyway. She had a heart attack and died before anyone could save her. I'm sure she didn't think Aura attacked her. There's nothing to avenge. No way. A heart condition? She never said a word about it. Maybe she didn't want you to worry about her. So I wanted to get revenge all this time. For nothing. As a favorite character from a video game once said, revenge is a fool's game. And... This is the exact... Funny enough, this is the exact same character arc that The Last of Us Part Two is trying to, to chase. And while it still is very overused, this game did it better. 
Excuse me? So neither case was murder. Not a year ago. And not this time either. Responsibility in this matter is great. But I believe you can be rehabilitated. Marlin, you better come back to Shipshape Aquarium when you're done, you hear? Or and I and everybody will be waiting for you. You still have a lot to offer, Mr. Rhymes. Live your life and never give up. For the sake of those who are gone as well. Ah. I, I promise to make up for what I've done. Even if it takes me my whole life. Mr. Wright. Sasha. Thank you. Wow. What a freaking ending to a case. Oh, what? Has Shu abandoned that his accidental mur murder is still murder shit from the original trilogy? Is this him making up for that? Because it's interesting, because in the first case, like... They said, like, there were so many reasons not to put Edgeworth in prison for the death of his father. And it's like, accidental murder, still murder! And now it's like, well, you could still be rehabilitated? Come on! Well, I have seen countless trials, but never one that ended like this. I don't know how, Mr. Wright, but you always seem to manage to turn things around. I think all this excitement has taken a few years off of my life. Is that praise or a diss? Now then, the court finds the defendant, Sasha Buckler, not guilty. Court is now adjourned. Congratulations on your win! Thank you for all your help today, Pearls. <laughs> all I did was have fun with Orla. Orla, I'm back. Oh, I missed you, girl. Oh, I'm so happy for you, Orla, Sasha. Everything turned out great. Phoenix, Athena, I really want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. Orla and I are both really grateful. I will now act out me gratitude with a little performance. Arr. Miss Orca Lover, don't you think you better take care of your health first? Uh, Alright, fine. I promise. No more shows until I'm better. I don't want anybody to worry about me after all. Good. Glad that's settled. Hey buddy, Mr. Lawyer. You just had to blab every single one of the aquarium secrets, didn't you? Sorry, Dr. Crab. Nah, that's alright. I'm glad. It was kind of hard to tell. Although, thanks to you, they now know we're using the illegal torpedo system. But I think we'll be able to wiggle out of serious repercussions somehow. That writer lady is advocating for us, saying the law itself is to blame. She said she's going to look into getting the law changed. Wow, go Mr. Plume. She sure is a powerhouse. There's one thing you didn't figure out, by the way. Keep this to yourself, will you? We don't want it getting out publicly. Remember that appointment I had written down in my calendar? Oh, you mean meet the captain at the Orca Pool at 7 a.m.? That note met the Orca Pool of the sub of the sub Supermarine Aquarium, not Ship Shapes. What? Why were we supposed to meet there? Jack and I, we visited the Supermarine Aquarium once a month. Any idea why? Um, to get dolphin therapy treatment? No, silly. Remember I told you? Jack and I were against putting the orca down from the start. What? You mean... We just pretended to put the first Aura Shipley down. The Supermarine Aquarium is harboring her for us. 
What? Oh, so that talk about the large amounts of money you were paying them. Oh, so that talk about the large amounts of money you were paying them. We were paying for Orla's care. You wouldn't believe how much fish workers eat. Now that's been proven she was innocent all along, I think we can bring her back soon. Till then, keep it under your hat, okay? Huh? What was he telling you about? Oh, nothing much. By the way, Orla wants to give you, give her a little, wants you to give her a little celebratory prize. Orla specifically requested that you give it to her, Phoenix. <laughs> All right, fine. Let's see. What can I give her? Eat this one! It's the fish, obviously. Orla, it's coming a day late, but congratulations on your verdict. <laughs> oh my! <laughs> Aren't you lucky? <laughs> That's Orla's best trick. The thank you kiss trick. Oh, Orla, I want to be next. So the curtain fell on my first trial in years. Looking forward to the comeback of Sasha and Orla's swashbuckler. Spectacular. After all, I made a comeback of my own. As a lawyer. Oh, okay. I was like, wait, what? Date. Eh, time. Eh. Ship Shape Aquarium. Entrance. It's been a while since I visited Ship Shape Aquarium. Now that Sasha has recovered from her illness, she's performing today. There's still some time before the show starts. I think I'll wander around a bit. Hi, Phoenix. Hope you enjoy the show today. The orcas are excited and ready to go. Oh, I'm sure I'll enjoy- wait a minute. Did you say orcas as in plural? Yep, let me show you. What? Two orlas? Don't tell me! Yep, you caught it right. Ora Shipley the first has returned to Ship Shape Aquarium. We be the three pirate sisters, are. We be about out to stop the evil Scallywag League Red by Red Stash and the Giant Octopus. Well, I don't want to get in the way of their rehearsal. Guess I better go. Well, if it isn't Blue Boy, did you come for my book signing? Oh, Mr. Plume, there's a book signing? Yes, my new book is just out. It's called Ship Shape Aquarium. Don't pull the plug. The book signing will be had here in this room after all. The vet owes me a favor. Yes, she got them to approve the use of tor tor torpedo. I'm grateful. Why does she keep coming to my lab to bother me every single day? My next work will be entitled Sniper, The Penguin Leaves the Nest. God, stop this cacophony! Why am I surrounded by carping females? Gee, Dr. Crab gets all the ladies. Guess I'll leave him to it. Oops, it's almost time for the show. Where have you been, Daddy? Polly and Athena already went in. While we were waiting, I bought some souvenirs to take back to the village. Sorry to keep you waiting. I bet they'll love your souvenirs back home, Pearls. By the way, I hear a certain someone is going to be in today's show. A certain someone? I wonder who it could be. Oh, it's almost time. The show's just about to start. Alright, let's go to the show stage then. Saved you all seats, Mr. Wright. Oh, I 
can't believe I get to see the show again. I'm so happy. I want to dive in the pool. Better not. I think they'd call security. You're welcome to the pool anytime, Athena, but Red Stash is the best swimmer of all. Huh? Who have you got playing Red Stash's role? Sasha, Aura, and Orla are ready to go. Hey, I know that voice. Yep, you know it. Marlin is back, and he's playing the role of Red Stash. It be the new swashbuckler spectacular. Hope you enjoy it, me buckos. And so, our pirates set sail for bluer seas under a sunnier sky. As for me, I set foot into the world of law once more as a full-time lawyer. Yeah! End. Wow. Um, we are going to be going a bit over here. I do want to get, um, in my final, um, opinions on the special episode. Hold up a second. I am going to just minimize this, pause it for a bit, and, uh, kind of talk about what I thought about this case. It was really good. Like, I enjoyed that case a lot. Like, I was invested from beginning to end. Um, I didn't actually see it coming out the way it was going to come out. I didn't see there being two auras or the I, I, the captain being um, uh, an accidental death and not having Marlon go to jail. That that I did not see because Shu in the, the end of the first ever Phoenix Wright game Pretty much, that game took on the presence of, like, well, accidental murder is still murder. And here, this was an accidental death. Now, I guess the reason they did it here, now that I'm thinking about it, is simply because he did not push the captain. He didn't really do anything. The captain just slipped. It was just a complete accident. So, I guess that's what he means versus... um. Edgeworth, who just threw the gun, and the bullet went off, the gun went off, and he thought killed his father, but of course, it actually ended up not killing his father. But, yeah, so, I loved all the characters, like, none of them were annoying. Like, that breakdown for Marlin at the end there was really great, one of my favorite breakdowns in the series. Um, yeah, but, I, I don't know, I liked all the characters in this one. It was just a really well put together case, so... Uh, 9 out of 10 for me. Um, I never give anything 10 out of 10s, if, if you know about it. I just, as an artist, I'm under the opinion that, like, no art is t a 10 out of 10. Like, there's always something that can be approved upon. But yeah, that was, that was interesting. Everything came together. There wasn't any huge leaps in logics for this one. So yeah, uh, I'm curious as to what you guys thought about a case. Go ahead and tell me, and... Uh, we will move on to the actual third case of Dual Destinies and continue on with the main story next time. Thank you all for watching. Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you time for more content, especially more of Dual Destinies. Also, make sure to share this video far and wide so we can get as many eyeballs on it as possible. I will see you all for case number three.